Hello everybody, today we are going to learn to tie the square knot. I have my overhead cam here and I am doing this whole series to hopefully teach you some of the basic knots to use in the outdoors. Now let's get started. This right here where you have one loop over the other loop, see this loop over the other loop is what it defines kind of the square knot and you have both trailing edges on each side. Now this is a knot that you would use around the house under light loads, you would never use this in a life-saving situation. So if you're gonna get hauled up a cliff and someone sends you down a line, don't tie a square knot to the other end to get hauled up it. Um, it's just not really made for that. It's also made mostly for tying ropes of similar type and style together. Okay, well let's get started. So I'll take this, it's easy to untie. Um, the way most people remember how to do this is right over left, left over right. Okay, so we have right, left. We go right over left, we tie a simple overhand knot. See how I do that? And then you're going to take the second one, left over right, and loop it through. And it's real easy because then what you have is your simple square knot. And you know it's a square knot because both trailing ends are on one side of the rope. Now let me untie this and show you what a granny's knot is, which is not what you want to tie. That's when you go right over left, right, over left. Now I'm using these two colored braided ropes so that you can see what's happening here. And you can see it doesn't look like those loops are the same anymore. And what'll happen is the whole thing will come undone really easily. You don't want to tie a granny's knot. Now a variation of the square knot is what's called a thieves knot. Now I really like this because it has a little bit of history to it. So if you take just a normal loop like so, right, with the trailing end up here, and then you take the other rope and you stick it through the hole, you loop it around this side and back through, then what you have is essentially your square knot. See, that looks exactly like our square knot, except the trailing edges now are two opposite sides of the knot. And this is called a thieves knot because if you were to tie up, say, a big crate with valuables inside and you tied a thieves knot on the top, and then somebody saw that and they wanted to get inside of your crate, they might be like, ah, we'll retie a square knot on the top <laughs> and then when we're done getting what's inside. So they'll untie this, retie the square knot, and then when you come back, you'll be like, ah, we got them, somebody got inside. So it's just a little bit of a trick. So my challenge to you here, make sure before you move on, you can tie the square knot really quickly and really easily. Also make sure you can tie the granny's knot so you know what is the wrong way to do it. And then for fun, see if you can tie the thieves knot. All right, we'll see you in the next one.